Check out this toy and more at BigBadToyStore.com. Check the link in the description. Hey YouTube, Rider Zero here today with a new review. Today we're going to be taking a look at a figure that, for me personally, has been extremely highly anticipated. One that I'm sure a lot of the American fandom for Power Rangers has been wanting. I know I personally have, so I was really excited when they finally announced this one, and now I have it in my hands, and it's even better. Uh, as you can see there, we have the Dragon Ranger from Kyoryu Sentai Zhu Ranger, or as we know him in America, the Green Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Um, just to kind of go ahead and give a quick warning, I'll probably alternate back and forth between using American terms and Japanese terms because obviously we're more used to the uh, MMPR versions of weapons and whatnot, uh, but I'll do my best to try to keep it as, as Sentai as possible since technically this is the Sentai version even though it's the exact same figure we're going to be getting for the MMPR version, just a different box. Um, so speaking of the box, we'll go ahead and take a look at that real quick, and then we'll look at the figure and accessories and everything. So, as you can see here on the box, a uh, nice picture of Barad, the Dragon Ranger there. It's actually the figure, um, that I, I just, actually, let me set this back a little bit so we can get some light on it there. There we go. Um, uh, that is actually the, a picture of the figure, which I just realized, um, uh, right before I started recording this, actually. I actually thought it was just a regular picture. They slap on the box but it is actually the figure so that's pretty cool uh you can see there it says dragon ranger the logo for you ranger uh tommy shenations all that good stuff along the side of the box there in a nice gold font we have dragon ranger up at the top uh you can see there kyori sentai you ranger uh another picture there on the side of dragon ranger same thing over here just a different shot and then on the back uh same thing as per usual try to get some light on it here um just you know, action poses basically showing kind of what it can do, some of the optional parts as it says there. And then as this is the Sentai version, uh, they actually included the the powerful rangers um, look, which was seen on Akiba Ranger uh, with the American belt there and then the, the neck piece there on that one. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the box. Pretty standard for figure arts boxes. Nice looking box. Um, I've seen the, the MMPR version. The only difference is, is it says MMPR rather than G-Ranger. Uh, it has the logo here in the middle. I think it has a different picture of the Green Ranger too. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to get another one of it just because it's really the same figure, just a different box. But, uh, I don't know. We'll see. But we'll talk about that later. So again, that's it for the box. So we'll set this aside and we'll go ahead and bring in the star of this particular review, Dragon Ranger himself. So tilt this down a little bit there. And I have it in this pose because it's a pretty classic pose. Everybody's seen this, whether you've watched MMPR or Zoo Ranger. I'm obviously playing the uh, Zusok in there. I don't know if I'm saying that right, so I'm sorry if I'm not. I'm terrible with pronunciations and we'll likely call it the Dragon Dagger from here on out just for that sake. Uh, but as you can see there, he is playing the dragger, the dragger, the dagger, much like he would on the show to summon Dragon Caesar uh, and or uh, Dragon Zord. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I was really stoked about this figure, um, and it, it just looks gorgeous, I think. We'll go do a quick look at the accessories, and then we'll get into articulation and all that. It's pretty much the same, so I won't spend a whole lot of time on that. If you've seen figure arts reviews, you know the articulation. Uh, we'll take a look at some of the detailing. So as far as the accessories, uh, it does come with the standard fists and hands that we're all used to. Um, kind of like a splayed open posing fist or hand. Uh, grippy fist, closed fist, and then a different grippy fist. Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't notice a whole lot of difference between the two different versions of the holding hand or holding things fists. Um, so I'm not sure. Maybe it's for different poses or whatnot. I don't know. So it comes with the fist. Of course, it does come with the dagger itself. Uh, and then it also comes with the Sword of Hellfried or the Sword of Darkness, whatever you want to call it, which is very, very nicely done, very nicely detailed. Um, the actual, the little, let's, let's zoom in on it here if, if it'll allow us to do so. Um, you can actually kind of see through the, the gem there. It, it is actually see-through, but... Now, with some light on it, it actually helps. You can see the actual figure there in the background. If I bring my finger up it, you know, you can see it moving there. So that's pretty cool that that is actually a clear little piece of plastic or resin or whatever it may be, rather than just being painted on. That's uh, pretty neat. Uh, nicely detailed overall. Looks pretty much identical to the actual sword from the show. So that was really neat. Um, 
I did not choose to pose it with this one as of yet. As you can see, I've, I've had it on my desk in that pose uh, just because I liked it best. And uh, I didn't feel like moving it because that one, that pose there was a pain in the butt for me to get right. Uh, other than that, it comes with the powerful Rangers accessories, which is basically just uh, a belt with the American flag on it. Uh, the detailing on the on the actual morpher or changer there is pretty nicely done. Uh, and like I said, the only difference is just the American flag. And then it comes with a different neck piece as well that has the star, or not stars, but has the stripes and the red, white, and blue color scheme across it for the powerful Rangers. Um, I really did, I actually, shame on me, but I never watched the Keeper Rangers, so I'm not sure what that storyline involved. I know that green and red showed up, uh, but other than that, so, as far as the figure itself, we'll take a look at some of the detailings here. And as much as I hate to do this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move the pose here. This pose is such a pain in the butt to get. Um, so, here is the actual dagger itself. Very, very nicely done. Very nicely sculpted, painted, detailed. Um, I mean, it looks pretty much like a legit dragon dagger. Just a very, very miniaturized version. Um, really happy with how that turned out. Uh, so, so, yeah looks really really awesome especially when posed like it was before as far as detailing on the figure let's put the arms down here uh head sculpt is done very nicely very accurate uh, as we're used to with pretty much all figure arts that's why we buy them because they're well, you know pretty much the standard for for most uh figures here uh again head little getting tongue tied here i'm getting so excited head sculpt nicely done coloring is nicely done details uh, the gem, the teeth, all very, very nicely done. Uh, I don't know if it was intended. I'm pretty sure that's probably just where the the actual helmet snapped together just for, you know, um, purposes to put it on the figure. But it's actually almost kind of authentic just for the fact that that's about where the helmet split apart when they took them off. So that's pretty neat, even though it probably wasn't meant to be that way. Uh, the shield looks very, very nice, pretty accurate to um, to the show as far as the little... Uh, detailings here on the inside of the diamond uh, just the overall look itself the coloring everything is very very accurate um you know the, sh the little indention stripes whatever you want to call it going all the way around look really good uh the shield does actually come off uh it's kind of difficult you have to take the arms off and then take the head off and then be very very careful not to scratch up the figure because it's not intended to come off but it is possible to take it off however i won't be doing that because i'd probably break it uh, gold bands on the biceps, accurate to the show. Uh, gold trimming on the gloves and uh, the, the green spikes, triangles coming down from there. Uh, again, very, very accurate. Uh, down to the to the actual belt. Thank goodness they colored it gold, and you can actually see the detailing for the for the dragon coin there. So that's really, really cool. Uh, it does come with the uh, sheath for the dragon dagger or. Jusokin. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly again. Hopefully I am, so don't don't hate on it too much if I wasn't. Uh, the green coloring is very nicely done. Again, very accurate. Uh, down to the boots, triangles painted nicely. Gold trim around the top there. Uh, same thing, you know, going around the back there. Thankfully, the joints were all in color with the costume. Uh, I kind of don't like the way that the arm looks there where the joint meets, but... I guess it had to be done just for the fact that these, uh, the gauntlets that they wear, or especially the Green Ranger wears, is a little bit different from most of the other uh, Sentai Rangers for, for Shoe Ranger because of the gold trim at the top. So, probably a little bit easier to do on the other Rangers. Um, Articulation-wise, uh, pretty much standard, like I said. You know, you can get all the normal range of motion with the head. There's no no really hindrances because of the, uh, of the Dragon Shield there. Uh, 360 at the shoulder. It's a little bit more difficult because you have to kind of wiggle it under the under the armor there, uh, but nothing that you know is, is impossible. It's totally totally doable. Uh, double joint there at the elbow. Uh, full you know. Re I'm so tongue tied. And I have no idea why. Uh, normal wrist joint rotation 360. Uh, it does have stomach articulation or articulation at the waistline. It does have that crunch there with the chest, um, you know, standard figure arch joints at the thigh there, double jointed knee, and the hinge, uh, toe, no, a little bit of side to side, this one's a little bit tight there, so probably has side to side, just not 
able to do a whole lot there. Yeah, you can see pretty much, like I said, it's, it's standard articulation. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it. Um, overall, I think this is a very, very fantastic figure. Uh, just to kind of show off the hands it's on it, actually, you can see there the way they kind of look, how to, you know, this hand is meant to hold the, the dagger, and this is supposed to be like the playing. This hand is for the uh, actual playing of the notes and whatnot. Uh, so, yeah, very, very nice looking overall. I'm extremely happy with this figure. Um, I've, Green Ranger's always been my favorite. Yeah, I, you know, I, I won't say that MMPR was the best or anything, or Zoo Ranger was the best in time. When I was a kid, you know, I was all about Power Rangers. And when Tommy showed up, that was it. It was it was on. That was, I mean, from from since he showed up, it was always my favorite. Um, you know, I know a lot of people hate on Tommy and hate on on Power Rangers because of how campy and whatnot it was. But you know, it, it's whatever. Everybody has their own opinion, and everybody likes what they like. And it just so happens I'm I'm a big fan of Tommy the Green Ranger and uh, of Barai the Dragon Ranger. So when this one was announced, this whenever. Whenever we first, or I first started collecting figure arts, and then I learned that they were going to start doing Sentai, this was the first one I wanted to happen. Uh, and now that it finally has, I'm, I'm pretty stoked with it. I was extremely happy when this one came in. No cosmetic flaws that I could see on mine. Um, no flaws with the joints. Everything's nice and tight. So, overall, for me, this is definitely a must-have figure if I can get him to stand up now. Um, very, very happy with it. Highly recommend it. If you're a figure arts collector, it's just a def it's just a really good figure to have in your collection. Um, if you're a fan of Power Rangers, if you're a fan of Zoo Ranger, it's definitely one that you're going to want to add to your collection. I will be getting the entire rest of the line because I'm kind of prioritizing Sentai over Rider a little bit more these days. Uh, and, and I just, I just really like this one. So definitely recommend it. Definitely pick this one up. Whether you get the Dragon Ranger version or the MMPR version, you can't go wrong either way. So thanks for watching the review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, down there. Um, don't forget to check out, uh, the, you can uh, like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Zero. Follow on Twitter, twitter.com slash RiderZero, uh, RiderZero.com for the blog that has not been updated, so apologies for that. Um, and yeah, tell everybody you know about these. All the all the comments and whatnot are great, whether it's critiquing or um, just saying, hey, good review, whatever. Just tell people to come check out the channel. I appreciate it. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the review. There will be more coming up. So until next time, take care.